Hi, my name is Dave Cuthbertson from AcidGen and I'm going to show you how you can easily create rack diagrams with AcidGen. This is the AcidGen user interface and we arrange cabinets in computer rooms and buildings and here I've selected cabinet 103. I can look at the attributes for this cabinet which you can customize so that uh, you can record information which will go in your Visio diagrams. We can also show the space that's used within the cabinet at the moment and we have some space in the top. So I'll add a piece of equipment to the rack and then I'll create a Visio diagram and you can see how many seconds it takes. First of all we'll add a piece of equipment to the rack and I'll call this new server. This will be a Windows server and we'll say that this is a planned piece of equipment and you'll see why later. I'll put it in position 46 and make it 2U high and save this. In our cabinet we now have that server, the new server, in position. To create a rack diagram of this I go to the diagrams option, select cabinets and then open up and select the cabinet that we've just put the equipment into, cabinet 0103. Give the diagram a title. I choose a particular Visio template and this one I'm going to use is called Planet 01 Local and then I press the draw button. Here is our Visio diagram and I can see the new server installed in the cabinet. If I click on the server I can also show all of the attribute data, in this case default data for this uh, particular piece of equipment. I can use Visio's data graphics feature to then bring out and highlight configuration details and I can get consistency across all of my pieces of equipment with the data graphics feature. If I want to actually produce a slightly different view of the diagram I can change the Visio template. So rather than using Planet 01 I'll use a blank template so there won't be any equipment shapes. And here for instance is a cabinet diagram now without any details and this is useful if you wish to dashboard or show differences in status so if I select all of these devices apply a different Visio data graphic. Here I can see the difference between live equipment in green and planned equipment in yellow. So I can see uh, and the same could apply to decommissioned equipment as well. There are various options that you have within the AcidGen Connect system. We can include that data in the shapes, we can include hyperlinks and I'll show you that in a moment. We also have the ability to tailor the drawings to have front or rear views and to exclude blanking plates if we don't think they're serving useful purposes and to calculate some spare patch panel ports. If you wish to uh, add or embed more information into your Visio diagrams you have a number of choices. The first of which is if I select the computer room this will draw all the racks in the computer room in one go. The attribute calculations tab here allows us to insert and summarize information into the rack shapes so in this case I'm going to insert all the power of the equipment so that we summarize the equipment power but we could also summarize weight and other capacity factors. All the settings that we have we can save as a series of templates. So for instance if I just wanted network racks if I click and select this template it will bring out all cabinets that are network cabinets um, all in the Birmingham computer room. If I now draw this, here are all the network racks with each one having its own tab so I can see the positions and shapes of all the pieces of equipment. These template settings can then be used to provide complete automation of rack diagrams by repeating this on a batch schedule for instance every night. In our utilities menu this is the automation facility with an asset gen and what this shows is that we have a schedule called Birmingham Rack Updates and it will create uh, a file called Birmingham Rack Updates and will run this every run and will produce Visio diagrams in a particular location and will also produce PDF versions of them in another place for maybe users that you don't want to see will have all the details shown. We also have here a schedule to produce server racks. We also have a schedule here to update an existing floor plan and also a schedule to produce an inventory in a spreadsheet form and this can be done every single night, every week, every month, whatever is purposeful. And typically you would use this in an infrastructure portal. 
Here, for instance, is an example of the very simple infrastructure portal. We create a website with various hyperlinks. So here I have the fixed infrastructure. I can see various uh, types of outputs. I can either download the original Visio file or we can publish it for you automatically into a web format. So you'll see this format from Visio. Here are all the racks, for instance. If I select a particular rack, and there we see the rack. If I do control click on any one of these devices, we can then see on the left hand side all the attribute data that was in asset gen. If I hover over a device and do a single left click, this takes us into the web application automatically. So every single device in all of these Visio diagrams, we can always go back into the asset gen application automatically from the Visio diagrams and see the connectivity of that particular Unix system all its connections, its history, all from the Visio diagram. The scheduling system allows you to produce thousands of rack diagrams and store them locally, summarized by row, by cabinet, whichever you find the most useful way. I hope that gives a good idea of the ease and simplicity of creating single or large numbers of rack diagrams and the effort required. Thank you very much.